Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to What Would Zig Do Gaming. I'm your host, Zig, and I am here for the first time with Mighty Number no. 9. So, for those of you not familiar with Mighty Number no. 9, which if you're looking for this video, I can't imagine that you don't know what it is. But I guess you might have stumbled across this video on my page, hopefully. So, let me, uh, I don't have near the background that other channels do. So, you know, if you want to know a little bit more about it after this, you know, by all means. But, uh, so, this is the spiritual predecessor to Mega Man. Um, I'm not going to get into the politics of it. We'll just say that uh, the creator of Mega Man left Capcom after something, created the Kickstarter for Mighty Number no. 9, in which he wanted to create a brand new game. Obviously, he wanted to use Mega Man, but he couldn't because the IP is still tied up with Capcom, so he made this game. <coughs> Excuse me. As you can imagine, the Kickstarter did amazing. I haven't played this game yet, so I don't know what to expect. I know that it was looking good. Um, just uh, want to take you through a few quick things in the options. Check it out. Listen to this. Yeah, that sounded pretty good, didn't it? Okay, so my first playthrough, we're, my first playthrough, we are going to do with the, the all new original uh, score because I feel like we owe it to the the dev team to you know listen to their new interpretation of how this game should sound as far as music. But the next playthrough is definitely going to be done with that. Uh, is definitely going to be done with the the classic. Actually, we're going to turn this up a little. Oh, that's already maxed. Everything's already maxed. All right. <clears throat> going to be a quiet game, then, I guess. Okay, so. Let's get started. One hit death mode. Fuck that! Nope. Not even about to deal with that shit. Oh yeah. It is the present year. Voice acting. Breakthroughs in robotic technology have ushered in a new era of peace and prosperity. Violence is confined to the Battle Coliseum, where robot combatants face off in spectacular duels. Today, the Coliseum walls once again echo with the shouts and cheers of excited fans. When suddenly. <laughs> when suddenly. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh, yeah, check that out. How good does that look? Our hero, Beck. Yeah, how cool does that look? I'm digging it. It's a world of me's. Okay. Yep, we've got jump and shoot man. Lemons. So I guess that's all I have right now. Oh man, look at the lighting effects on his cannon when he fires. It like sends the energy down his arm. That's that's fucking cool. How fast can we go? Okay, so... But dude, this world looks like if the Wii had a world where all of its, like, little avatars were the people, this is what it would look like. Oh, check that out! I can grab ledges. Oh, 
guy like grunts with effort and stuff. That's cool. Oh, those are breakable. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Out of you. He already has more lines than Link. Once again, the president has declared a countrywide state of emergency. This based on reports of haywire robots rampaging out of control in all 52 states. I'm being told we have a comment from Gregory Graham, CEO of Cherry Dynamics. Cherry Dyne, of course, being the world's leading robot manufacturer. Let's go there now, live. Attention, <laughs> attention, existing on <clears throat> my fellow American. Oh dear. In this time of crisis, we at Cherry Dyne would just like to express that this isn't our fault. It's that Dr. Blackwell. He's the one behind this. Blame him. We at Cherrydine are doing all we can to help fix the situation. It's Blackwell. Hello, is this thing on? No. <clears throat> and now let's go live to our eye in the sky, Avi, for today's Avi News Traffic Report. Thanks, Avi. As you can see, we've got a few accidents we found on, well, everywhere. <laughs> So, yeah, that first guy, the guy, the CEO of Cherry Dine, pretty obvious that he's the villain. Or at least involved in it somehow. I'm digging all the, uh, did you catch, like, the, the old school sound effect whenever the nameplate came up, though? Digging that. Oh, what do we got here? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Taking the dash. Oh. <laughs> ah, because they knew that some people like me were going to be dumb and get hurt. So I can't tell if that... I can't tell what's going on with the dash there. If it, like, makes me invulnerable, or... And I don't know what those 80% are. Ah! Oh, what did I what did I get? Oh, look at that! Like I got like a, a power up or something. Ah! Oh, woohoo! Oh, what's over here? What did I get?
demons! Destroy all the enemies. So what's going on with all these power-up things up here? Try to accelerate... So it's kind of interesting that, like, some enemies seem to give me, bu like, different buffs than others. <laughs> I'm doing awful. Oh, we don't have the... we don't... so we don't have the Mega Man X wall jump. the robots torn you to pieces? I'm on it, Dr. White. Round digger. Zell, 90 million. Is that like a power level? Power levels are bullshit. Ah, oh, you dick! Oh, what do we got here? So does score actually do anything, or... Because, I mean, I never focused on score, even whenever it was the only metric by which you were... Uh... Judged back in the old days, and I definitely don't give a shit about it now. Sonda, are you alright? Well, back. Thank goodness. Uh, but where are the other mighty numbers? Based on empirical evidence, I believe they might be suffering from this robot affliction that's going around. It's Sigma. It's like every bot in America went completely nuts all at once. Let me contact my brother at the head office in Tokyo. Maybe he can send help. I find it interesting that this is taking place in America. afraid of that but it makes sense after all any robots you send to help could be affected as well making things even worse just to confirm mr sonda if we can isolate the cause of the robot rampage you'll send aid absolutely professor white anything we can do did you have a plan in mind yes we'll send beck to track down all his fellow mighty numbers great idea 
Wait, what? <laughs> his assimilation ability should filter any irregularities from his siblings' programming. If we can gather and study multiple samples, perhaps we can isolate the cause of the problem. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. The fate of the entire country hangs in the balance. I'll finish reactivating Call so she can provide support. Let's get to it. Call? You named your female character Call. Professor, I, uh... Not to worry, Beck. This is well within your capabilities. Is anybody else seeing the issue of having the... New content in extra mode is here. Having the female character's name to be Call. New content in extra mode is here. Okay. Go ahead and choose your next talk. Ah, a new... Hmm, the VR training program I devised. Uh, care to try it? An honest appraisal of one's abilities is the first step on the road toward improvement. Okay. What should we tackle next? Okay, so we're gonna wrap this up here. So this has been the maiden voyage of Mighty Number no. Nine. So I hope that you enjoyed this content. I hope that you're uh, planning on coming back to see more of it, and I do hope that you're enjoying everything uh, on WWZD Gaming as a whole. So. If you enjoyed this content, please remember to like and subscribe. This always helps me out immensely. And do be sure to come back next time to see what would Zig do in Mighty Number no. 9. I will see you all then.